So third dance lesson is a T model for your career, and this I think is a really important one. You can think of your career as a T, so you know, imagine my arm here is the post of the T. In your first six, eight, ten years of your career, you're building that T up layer by layer and making for a strong foundation. If you're an engineer, work in the engineering field and build your skills and capabilities in engineering. You may stay in that career and, and be an engineer for the rest of your career and make that, those roots even deeper and deeper. Or you may go out and broaden yourself. But you don't want to leave without having given something back to your field and to your company in this anchor of your T. Every executive I know, without fail, if you, if you go back into their history, you'll find they, they are good at something. You know, maybe they're a really great sales guy that, that had some tough sales assignments, or maybe as somebody that's a really great engineer and brought some great products to the marketplace. But make sure you make a cont contribution in the anchor of the T. And then, when you're done, that first six, eight, ten years, you have a lot better idea of what you want to really do with your career and do for a living. Then's the time to think about broadening yourself. And then that's when you take those cross-functional kinds of assignments and you're, then you're founded on this strong base and you're broadening yourself with the T. I, I one comment about the T. I've seen people that start broadening too soon. They don't have a, they don't have a very strong T. They start broadening too soon. And what I find with some of these folks, they are a jack of all trades and a master of none. And in today's world, that is, I think, a dangerous, to, dangerous place to be. Um, jack of all trades, master of none. So don't, don't jump at the opportunity. Try not to, unless you're really unhappy in your function. Try not to jump too early and, and make sure you give something back to the anchor of your tea.